Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare playing a bit of Domination here on the map Riot running around the AK-12 and this is a pretty nice half of gameplay which I love how Domination breaks into halves at least from a YouTube perspective it's pretty great so back in the day right back during Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and stuff like that when I wanted to make a video I would make a video covering a topic there's something I wanted to talk about there's something I wanted to show etc you guys get the point right and I wanted to do this but I wanted to use Domination gameplay because it's a game mode I play quite a bit of and it's kind of rough because Domination is a 10 minute long game mode so i had to make a 10 minute commentary over something that would usually you know take five minutes to cover and so here in advanced warfare and back during black ops 2 i didn't have to do that because i can just show a half of the gameplay and it kind of there's a nice start there's a nice finish it all just kind of works together and i like that so once again we're playing here on the map riot and i've talked recently in a couple of videos about why if you're playing on riot you want the enemy team to be at the a flag and you'll be seeing a pretty good example of that throughout this gameplay we uh start getting lots of kills and lots of kill streaks it's domination there's tons of kill streaks being called in you guys know how domination works you guys know how it works so hopefully you guys will all sit back relax and enjoy that so recently i made a video talking about the lizard squad now if you guys didn't catch that video allow me to recap it for you guys very quickly the lizard squad is a group of people who like to ddos down gaming services like xbox live playstation network as well as steam now in that video i talked about the lizard squad and what they do and what they really hope to accomplish which is really nothing besides be giant douches and how they basically said in the recent xbox live ddos which you guys may remember if you're an xbox player um i don't remember the exact date but it was very recent xbox live you simply wasn't working for a few days when they took that down and when they took the and then they took down xbox live for a little bit they basically put on twitter on their official twitter page because if you're a hacking organization you need to have an official twitter page they put up a thing saying that was their little christmas present to microsoft and it was just a sign of things to come throughout december and the holiday season which is really crappy and that was the whole point of the video just talk about that i was giving you guys information about that in case you guys weren't aware of what was going on with them and then the rest of the video i basically talked about it's really how crappy it is for them to take down stuff like this especially i mean if you're gonna be a douche to take down you know xbox live and playstation network and things like that if you're gonna be douche enough to do that because you really just have nothing else going for you in your life that you want to do something like that if you're gonna do it don't do it during the holiday season that's when people are getting their stuff you know that's when people are getting their xbox ones and their playstation 4s and brand new games and stuff there's hard-working people out there that just work day in and day out and when they come home they want to relax they want to play some video games go to sleep wake up and go back to work and you're literally taking away people's hobbies by doing that it's like really shitty just the worst kinds of people that would do this kind of thing Recently, another group has popped up. They go by the name of the Finest Squad. Now, what these people have claimed to have done is taken out the Lizard Squad, which is pretty great. That sounds pretty cool, but a lot of this stuff really, really gets blurry. Really gets blurry. That's why I don't follow this kind of stuff that closely. It's all hacky related stuff. It's all about IP addresses and doxing each other. Well, what they have found is basically they've doxed every member, supposedly, of the Lizard Squad. Now, what this means is they have the names and the addresses and the phone numbers and the IP addresses and literally everything you'd ever want to know about these people like posting pictures of their family they know everything about these people that would usually entail when you're doxing somebody right they know everything about every single member since this has happened we have not heard anything from the lizard squad their official twitter has been taken down which finest squad is posting pictures on their twitter claiming to have done that it's kind of a big deal they may have actually taken out the lizard squad which is great which means effectively the finest squad has saved christmas <laughs> which is, which is i thought about making that title of my video how the finest squad saved christmas but that one, i just thought that was fun Funny. But yeah, apparently if Lizard Squad is down like they're claiming, which Lizard Squad is completely gone from the internet, no DDoSes have happened uh, recently that they've been able to take credit for or anything like that. Their official Twitter has been taken down. Everything about them is just gone from the internet and finest squad is actually taking all of the credit for that now a lot of other hacking organizations are all popping up saying that they're the ones that did it and finest squad is lying and then fi finest squad's posting pictures over on their twitter saying no we definitely did this look at these emails look at this and that and the other and it's like oh man it's really hard to kind of follow this thing it really is and i want to give credit where credit is due i suppose but it's really hard to, to tell who is who was like the actual people that took out lizard squad so i don't know who knows maybe finest squad is lizard squad and they're, and they're covering their own tail who knows <laughs> It's definitely pretty hard, but as it looks right now, as just like a general update video for you guys, apparently Lizard Squad is gone, 
and your Xbox Live, your PlayStation Network, and all that stuff is going to be working throughout December and the holiday season. Now, of course, this is not this is not guaranteed. This is not foolproof. It could happen. Someone else could come up. Someone else could take down the servers. Who knows what could end up happening in the future? I want to make this video as kind of a quick update to you guys, as kind of like a follow-up to my last video on the subject, is that apparently Lizard Squad is now gone. Apparently is now gone. We're going to do a little excerpt here from the uh, Final Squad Twitter, which they have pinned at the very top of their Twitter page. We have successfully removed Lizard Squad from Twitter. You're welcome fellow gamers we will make sure their irc don't know what that means stays offline hashtag finest squad so that you guys want to go check them out there at finest squad if you want to read through all their tweets they have a bunch of different pictures and stuff like that that they're claiming to be uh, is proof that they took out that they took out the lizard squad and lizard squad is um gonna be gone forever i suppose apparently people over there are getting arrested and all that kind of crazy stuff and that would be great because at the end of the day hacking flame wars aside we're just gamers. We just like to play video games. We're not we're not trying to hurt nobody. You know, we, we all work. You know, well, I guess most of us work, and some of you guys go to school and stuff. You just want to play some video games in your leisure time. That's all it is. It's all we want to do. It's all we've ever wanted to do is just play some video games. Relax. It's a hobby. That's all we want to do. And then there's a bunch of nerds on the internet that are taking it down. So if the Final Squad did take them down, I salute them, because that is why I call hacktivism. People that are using hacking for good. That would be that would be awesome if more people would do that, rather than the other do kind of hacking where you take down people's stuff for no reason so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative and if you did please be sure to ring where you guys feel the be deserves and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day